From the dawn of time, humans have looked for the secret to eternal life, searching for a mythical fountain of youth or the key to immortality. But whilst we may never unlock that particular secret, the natural world already holds examples of creatures who have, in their own way, conquered death. Join me now as we journey to the wildernesses, the oceans, and even your own backyard to encounter ten remarkable animals who can survive in some form or another even after death. Prepare to be amazed by the resilience, the tenacity, and the sheer strangeness of the natural world. Our first encounter is with a creature often met with disgust, the humble cockroach. These hardy insects possess an incredible ability. They can survive for a time even without their heads. You see, unlike us humans who rely on a central brain for vital functions, cockroaches breathe through small holes called spiracles located throughout their bodies. A decapitated cockroach will still breathe, move, and even react to touch for several weeks, eventually succumbing not to its injury but to thirst. Our next subject is a marvel of engineering and a cautionary tale, the honeybee. Now, most people know that a bee sting comes at a cost for the bee, but what you might not know is that the danger persists even after death. When a bee stings, its barbed stinger often becomes lodged in the victim's skin, tearing away from the bee's abdomen along with the venom sac and muscles. This detached stinger, still twitching with life, continues to pump venom, making a bee sting a threat even after the bee itself is gone. The phrase running around like a headless chicken might seem like a joke, but there's a surprising truth behind it. In rare cases, a chicken can survive, even thrive, after losing its head. This remarkable feat is possible thanks to the way a chicken's brainstem is situated within its skull. If the blow bypasses the brainstem and the wound clots quickly, the chicken can continue to function, walking, eating, and even attempting to crow, all without a head to guide it. Chapter 4. The Octopus's Eight Brains we descend now into the ocean depths to meet the enigmatic octopus, a creature of remarkable intelligence and adaptability. What makes the octopus truly extraordinary is its decentralized nervous system. Each of its eight arms possesses its own cluster of nerve cells, allowing them to act independently even when detached from the body. Severed octopus arms have been observed to move purposefully, grasping at objects and even attempting to put food into a non-existent mouth a testament to the octopus's remarkable biology. Chapter 5. The Tardigrade, a Tiny Titan Our journey now takes us to the microscopic world where we encounter a creature of almost unbelievable resilience, the tardigrade, also known as the water bear. These tiny organisms, measuring just about half a millimeter in length, are virtually indestructible. These microscopic animals are renowned for their ability to withstand conditions that would spell certain doom for most life forms. From the depths of the ocean to the highest mountains, tardigrades thrive in environments that are inhospitable to almost all other creatures. Tardigrades can survive extreme temperatures, from the blistering heat of boiling water to the frigid vacuum of space. Their resilience is nothing short of extraordinary. They can withstand intense radiation, dehydration, and even the crushing pressure of the deep ocean. These remarkable creatures have adapted to endure the most extreme conditions known to science. In the face of such adversity, the tardigrade simply enters a state of suspended animation, its metabolism slowing to a crawl, only to reanimate when conditions improve. This unique survival strategy allows them to outlast almost any environmental challenge. Chapter 6. The Planarian Worm, Master of Regeneration Imagine a creature that could rebuild itself from even the smallest fragment, a creature that could cheat death through the power of regeneration. Such a creature exists, the Planarian Worm. These unassuming flatworms possess an extraordinary ability to regenerate lost body parts. Cut a Planarian Worm in half and you won't kill it, you'll simply create two. Each half will regrow its missing parts, forming two complete and independent worms. This remarkable ability stems from a special type of cell called neoblasts, which are capable of transforming into any other type of cell in the planarian's body. These neoblasts are like tiny biological architects, orchestrating the rebuilding process with precision. Scientists are fascinated by this process, hoping to unlock secrets that could one day aid in human medicine. The planarian worm, though simple in appearance, holds the key to understanding complex biological regeneration. Our quest for immortality takes us to the deep sea, where we encounter a creature that has seemingly unlocked the secret to eternal youth. 
the Turritopsis dorni jellyfish. This remarkable creature possesses the ability to revert to a juvenile state after reaching sexual maturity, a process known as transdifferentiation. When faced with injury, starvation, or other environmental stresses, the Turritopsis dorni can essentially hit the reset button on its life cycle, transforming back into a polyp its earliest life stage. From this polyp, it can then bud off new jellyfish, effectively creating clones of itself. Chapter 8. The Frozen Frog a winter miracle. As winter descends upon the northern hemisphere, many creatures seek refuge from the cold, but not the wood frog. This small amphibian has a unique strategy for surviving the harsh winter months. This remarkable amphibian embraces the freeze, allowing its body to become encased in ice, its heart stopping, its blood flow ceasing. It's a process that seems almost magical. For all intents and purposes, the wood frog appears dead, a victim of the unforgiving cold. It lies motionless, covered in frost, seemingly lifeless, but appearances can be deceiving. Beneath the icy exterior, life is merely paused, waiting for the right moment to resume. Within the frozen frog, a remarkable transformation is taking place. Slowly, as temperatures rise, the ice begins to melt. Special proteins prevent the formation of deadly ice crystals within its cells, ensuring that the frog's tissues remain intact. Meanwhile, glucose acts as a cryoprotectant, shielding its vital organs from damage. This biochemical marvel allows the frog to survive the freezing temperatures. As spring arrives and the ice melts, the wood frog thaws, gradually coming back to life, its heart restarting, its blood flowing once more, the frog awakens from its frozen slumber. A testament to nature's ability to defy death, the wood frog hops away, ready to embrace the warmth of spring and the promise of new life. Chapter 9 The Sea Cucumber's Great Escape in the coral reefs, we encounter a creature that takes self-defense to a whole new level, the sea cucumber. When threatened, this seemingly passive creature unleashes a bizarre and somewhat gruesome defense mechanism. It eviscerates itself. Through its anus, the sea cucumber expels its own internal organs, a sticky and often toxic concoction that deters predators and allows the sea cucumber to escape. But this is no suicide mission. Over the following weeks, the sea cucumber regenerates its lost organs, emerging from its ordeal good as new. Chapter 10. The Lobster's Never-Ending Story Our final encounter is with a creature that seems to defy the aging process altogether, the lobster. Unlike most animals, lobsters continue to grow throughout their lives, molting their shells and regenerating lost limbs. They show no signs of slowing down, no decrease in strength or fertility as they age. In fact, older lobsters are often more fertile than their younger counterparts. While lobsters are not truly immortal, their remarkable ability to regenerate and their seemingly ageless nature make them a fascinating example of nature's ability to push the boundaries of longevity. Outro life finds a way. From the tiniest insect to the largest whale, the natural world is full of wonders, and perhaps none are more wondrous than the creatures we've encountered on this journey. These animals, with their ability to regenerate, to withstand extreme conditions, and to seemingly cheat death itself, remind us that life, in all its forms, is tenacious, adaptable, and full of surprises. While we humans may never achieve true immortality, we can still marvel at these incredible creatures who come so close, and perhaps learn a thing or two from their resilience.